When it comes to cleaning driveways, pressure washing with the surface cleaner is one of the most efficient and effective methods available, but there are four major factors that a lot of people do not consider when they are just starting out. So stick around and we are going to talk about four things that are going to help save you time, make you more money and deliver better results for your customers. And if you stay until the very end, I'm going to share with you one of the best ways I've found to convert more driveway cleaning leads into paying customers. Before we talk about the equipment, let's talk about pre-treatment and post-treatment. A lot of people have varying opinions on if you should pre-treat, if you should post-treat, or if you need to treat the driveway at all with any kind of chemical. And the answer is, it depends on several different factors. The first thing to understand is a surface which is being cleaned, and most of the time it's going to be concrete. Concrete is porous, and basically this means that there are voids and spaces within its structure, and this comes from when the concrete was first installed. The water to cement ratio, when it was mixed, how it was finished, and how long it had to cure, all of these things contribute to how porous the concrete is. And the reason I even mention this is because this directly impacts how you need to clean it. And yes, the porosity of concrete is one of the reasons why stains are so hard to remove sometimes. Different substances like oil, grease, and organics like mold and mildew can penetrate into the pores and the voids in the concrete, and this makes it really difficult to completely eliminate the stains of the organic growth or really any stain because it just dives down deep. And all of that being said, uh, if there are organics, then you have to apply some sort of treatment, either a pre or a post to kill the organics. If you don't treat it, it's gonna grow back rapidly, and this means you didn't do your job right. And if you're not dealing with any kind of organic which is more common in really dry areas of the country that have low humidity, then you're not going to have to worry about it. But if you have other stains like oil, rust, or grease, you treat those with the proper chemicals to eliminate them, right? But always be sure to properly communicate expectations to your customers before you commit to the job, because it's best that you and the customer are on the same page as to what the end result is actually going to be like. So the next thing is the machine that you're going to be using, or more importantly, the specs of the machine, particularly the gas gallons per minute or GPM of water flow. Look, when you're surface cleaning, it's not just about sheer pressure. It's about how efficiently you can dislodge dirt and debris and nasty and gunk while not causing damage to the surface. And yeah, pressure washers that have high PSI or pounds per square inch, they can be impressive. And a lot of guys get off on this, right? But when it comes to driveways, it's the GPM rating that really matters. A higher GPM means a larger volume of water is available for cleaning. And this is important for a bunch of different reasons. First off, a higher GPM allows for more even distribution of cleaning power across the surface. So instead of relying just on pressure, the larger volume of water makes it a lot easier to wash off all the dirt, all the debris that you're removing from the surface, which is important because it's preventing it from being left on the driveway surface to dry. And then you would have to reclean it or spend a bunch more time rinsing when you're done with the surface cleaning. So having as much volume as possible is going to make life a bunch easier and it's going to make you more efficient. Another really important factor that makes GPM more important than PSI is damage. And if you think about it, excessive pressure, especially when concentrated in a small area, can harm the driveway surface by stripping away the top layer, etching into the concrete, and we've all seen the damage caused by homeowners or other people that just don't know what they're doing. So bottom line, GPM over PSI so you can clean faster and minimize the potential for damage. And if you're wanting to start a new business, make more money than you ever had before, keep more money money than you ever had because you're not working for somebody else, How to Wash was built for you. Not only do we teach you how to wash every surface on a residential property, how to mix the chemicals, we're going to show you how to use the equipment for both pressure washing and soft washing, property protection, safety, and you're going to get ECP certification upon completion. You will also get wood cleaning mastery, and we just added how to quote to show you exactly how you should be quoting every service you're providing. There is a link in the comment section below. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is detail work, and we all know Know that a surface cleaner is the best way for cleaning large flat areas in the most efficient manner possible, but it can't reach all of the edges, all of the corners effectively, right? And this detail work, this may seem like common sense. And, and if you're like us, you've rolled up to far too many houses where the homeowner had hired somebody else last time and they didn't take this step. And I'm talking about cutting in the corners. And this takes just a little bit of time, but it is an essential step to doing a professional job. Now, obviously you gotta be careful. Don't stay in one spot for too long because you can etch the concrete, especially if it's newer. And really when you do this in your process, whether it's before you start surface cleaning or after you're done, it really doesn't matter. Do what makes the most sense for you. 
Now, before we get into the last step, I promised you I would share one of my most effective strategies to attract more business and build trust with potential customers. And that is to include before and after pictures when you're providing quotes or estimates. Just think about it. By visually showcasing the transformative impact of your services, whether it's a driveway, a roof wash, or a house with horrible mildew growth, you not only are able to communicate your competence, but you're also offering a compelling visual representation of the value that you bring. Think about it. You've heard the saying a million times, a picture is worth a thousand words. And it truly is, especially when you've just got a limited time to stay in front of them, give them your price, show them the before and afters. Now, these before and after pictures are the proof of your capabilities. And not only does this help potential customers envision the potential outcome, but it makes them more likely to pull the trigger and go with your company over somebody else. So take before and after pictures at every single job, send them out with every single estimate. I've been doing it for like 10 years and it works phenomenally, which is why why we built this into Quote IQ, and stay tuned because we're taking it to the next level with Quote IQ Cam this spring. Okay, so let's get back to the final step, which is the rinsing process. And this is a crucial step in achieving those professional results for your customers. Always start rinsing from the highest point of the driveway and work your way down to the lowest point. This prevents dirty water from running down onto clean sections, and it also ensures that all that nasty is washed away beautifully. And if it's hot outside, you need to work in sections so it doesn't dry, which is going to cause you more time and more money because you're going to have to redo and go back over your work. So just remember that GPM is more important than pressure and using a pre-treatment and a post-treatment can significantly improve the cleaning process and give you much better results. Use a wand to get to the hard to reach edges and employ a systematic rinsing approach from the highest to the lowest point for a thorough and professional finish. Send those before and after pictures with every estimate and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.